Hello guys, Snook here and today I'm gonna show you how to get uh, Unar's Arm, a rare pet which requires the stars to align in order to have it. What I mean by that is that you need a very specific work quest to be active, otherwise you can't even start the whole procedure to take it. Don't worry, I will explain everything as we go. Also keep in mind that you have to be level 60 in order to start this. As for the pet itself, it's an undead pet with a nice uh, and interesting moveset which combines undead abilities and humanoid ones. Now a few things about the lore behind what we are doing today. So basically there is a point of interest inside the Theater of Pain in Maldraxxus, not in the dungeon, just in the actual map area. There lies stabbed on the ground a sword with a skeleton arm. You can actually try to pull it out, but without the required buffs, you will just fail. Now here I should mention that if you have a character that can use two-handed swords, you should probably use that one for this whole shenanigan. And that's because, apart from the pet, you will also acquire the sword itself. Known as Sorobane, which is a 180 item level sword, and it's pretty useful if you want to quickly dress up with good gear. In my case, my warrior alt wasn't level 60, so I had to use my main druid in order to at least get the pet. So for starters, we need to find the required wall quest, which is this, a few bumps along the way. It's a very easy quest, situated in Maldraxxus, and rewards you with some anima. Before we do the quest, we need to gather up our required consumables. The first one is Strength of Blood, that you can purchase from Tatru in Ravendreth. This merchant does not accept gold, but instead ethereal meat, so make sure you have at least 30 ethereal meat before visiting him. The next one is Potion of Unusual Strength, which is sold for 34 gold from Aularinar. You can find him near the Theater of Pain in this position. Next up, we need to set up a way to return very very fast back in the theater. You will see why. The first one is that you simply set your hearthstone to Slumber Valorum, whose location is over here. The second option is to buy a scroll of teleport for theater from One Night Joby. You can find Joby over here and he sells the scroll for 10 gold. I prefer this method because I don't like changing hearthstone locations since I always forget to readjust them back to the original innkeeper. One thing to notice, all the consumables we bought are one-time use items, so if you feel like you might fail in using them, which is really takes some skill to mess this up, because trust me, this is the easy part of the adventure, then feel free to buy each of them twice, just to feel safe. Of course, that requires to pay for them double. So, enough with that, time to start the action. First, make sure to check up again that you successfully have all the three required items. Then, head to the world quest that we mentioned earlier. At this quest, you need to defend two artilleries. In order to do that, you need to attract and fight mobs within the yellow circle. As you do, the yellow bar will fill up and at 100 the artillery will be successfully defended. Now head up quickly to the next one. The battle hardened buff is now stacked on you and you will reset its 10 minutes countdown with the second artillery defended. This way the buff will now stack twice. Now you need to close your eyes and imagine that you are Sonic, cause the clock is ticking. Head super fast to the closest flight master. From there fly to the flight master at renowned Bastille. Now comes the difficult part. You need to head to the right down corner, over there, in order to gather up some shrooms. 
The shrooms you are seeking grow only in that particular tiny place and they are called edible red cups and they look like this. Now, because of the nature of this quest, prepare to face a bunch of other players fighting over the shrooms. What you need to do is that you have to eat four of those as fast as possible. Their buff remains for two minutes, but the respawn time is between one and two minutes. So you have to be very, very alert in order to stack them up properly. And of course, don't forget that you still have the battle hardened 10 minutes buff counting down. So you need to make this whole thing work in about 9 to 8 minutes as it will take you some time to reach your right down corner destination. The pathing isn't very clear and I was getting quite stressed in order to get there in time. Feel free to skip this part as I'm just showing the way I used to get there. A good suggestion to make this work better is to have a friend with you. This way you can scout faster for shrooms and get them before the rest of the people do. Seriously, this is the most important part that will judge you worthy for the sword and the pet. If you fail to do everything in time, your next chance will be when the world quest appears and god knows when that will be. Alternatively, try doing it with your alts if you have any. On a side note, at the same spot, a Maldraxxus rare appears every now and then. It's called Deadly Dapper Link, which also drops a pet, but seriously, as the buff timers are ticking, this rare is the least of your concern. Just get rid of it as soon as it appears, as it's very easy for it to start causing havoc and interrupting your shroom eating. Finally, after eating 4 shrooms in the required time and growing bigger than your mama, now it's time to use the teleport scroll and head back to the theater, ASAP. As I said before, if you don't use the scroll method, just headstone back to the theater in Keeper. After that, head straight to the sword as fast as possible. Quickly drink both of the buff potions that you bought and click on the sword. And there you have it, a sword and a pet. Of course my sword goes wasted, but I mostly wanted the pet anyways, setting priorities straight, am I right? Make sure to click on Onar's arm in order to unlock the pet. It popped as uncommon to me, but I'm not entirely sure if it pops as rare too. Either way, I will make sure to upgrade mine by using a battle pet stone. I hope you enjoyed this video, I will make sure to keep an eye out for more noticeable Sutherland's treasures, I will try to make more guides like this. See you next time, bye bye!